Hey everybody, hello! How are you doing? What's going on? We're a little bit crooked tonight. Everything's a little bit... Oh no! My very professional studio is not working out so well. Here, push this back and scoot this over. I should have done that first, huh, before I started. Should I start this over? Just keep going. All right, how was your day? Mine was weird. It was a weird day. First of all, this lipstick is really bright. It seems so not bright, and then it gets in this bright light, and then it's, woo, everything's brighter than it should be. Um, it was a weird day at work. A guy my age had like a stroke or a heart attack or something in the office, and ambulance had to come and rush him to the hospital, and it was horrible. He seemed, uh, just got an update that he's doing okay. He's in a room. I don't know. He was fine one minute, and then he just wasn't making any sense, and then he started throwing up really violently, and he got really hot, and... Um, things just got really bad and it's like just thinking about it is making me feel kind of panicky like that. It was a real eye opener because I mean, he was my age and I was just thinking, I got to start taking better care of my own health. So yeah, that happened and it was stressful. And then the guy who sat, who sits next to me at a family emergency and then someone else had a family emergency and I started feeling really superstitious about the whole day. And I kind of was just like, I want to go home and hug my mom and cuddle my cats and get the hell out of this place. But made it through the day. Okay, it's calm down, calm down, calm down. It's all good. But I've got a team wall, so I've got a small bag. I've got a smallish bag. And then I've got this bag, so let's do this. Let's open some stuff. And then I've got two huge bags downstairs, but those are from my, those are, I think, a sponsored Timu haul, and I'm just not in the mood to be all Timu professional-ish here. So let's just see what's in mine. Yeah, I'm really, I just got really hot all of a sudden. I don't do so well with life. But other than that, not much has been going on. My brother bailed on Japan after thinking about it for a day. He decided he just couldn't leave his family for 10 days. I don't blame him. 10 days is a long time if you've got, you know, a spouse and two children. And he said he just felt really guilty about leaving them. And one of those kids is special needs. And he just felt really guilty about leaving them for 10 days. So... I'm glad I would have killed him though. I knew I had a feeling. So when he said he wanted to go and I offered to pay for it and everything, I did not pay for it right away because I just, I know him and I thought he's going to overthink and overthink and overthink and go back and forth and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't even put the down payment on his and I knew it. I got that phone call within like 24 hours or 48 hours or whatever it's been from him saying that he can't, he just can't do it, which is fine. And a lot of people are like, oh no, that's so not safe for you to travel alone. But no, I've, I've traveled all over the world alone. I like traveling alone, really. I like it better than with people. That sounds really weird, doesn't it? But when you're with friends or whatever, you all got to compromise. But when you're on your own, you can do whatever you want. So, and in a tour group with an itinerary. So this is an eye, eyeshadow palette and it's got these colors. And I guess I really liked the purples and pinks. I don't know now though. Not so much in real life. The golds look really yellow to me instead of, I would prefer them to be more orange. And the pinks look, the purples look really red. But, you know, who knows? You never know. They could be all right. Whoa. See, that is some pigment right there. Um, This tour that I'm going with, you know, they've got a little bit of an itinerary for all of us solo travelers. 
but then there's a lot of space in the itinerary for us to kind of do our own thing. But we still have like a tour guide and a translator if we need one and stuff. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm excited to meet new people, but not too much. <laughs> meet new people, but not too much. Okay, well, I don't know. I might look a little drag queeny. <laughs> I, th I love drag queen. I'm mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. Okay, that's really pigmented, purpley, purple, purple stuff. Okay, so there we go. I don't know what I paid for. It's beauty glazed again. Meet your match color flame eyeshadow palette. And that's all that was in this one little bag right here. And it was in the mailbox. And I guess they had to send it all by itself. I don't know why. My eyes are already starting to burn a little bit. Burning. Remember when, for some of you guys who have been with this channel for a long time, and thank you so much for doing so. Um, in the beginning, I was like, I'll never take Timu stuff and put it on my eyes. Well, look at me now, rubbing it all over my face. All right, so we're going to go through this bag now. All right, the first thing that is taking up all the space in here is a pair of jeans. And I also remember the first pair of jeans I ever got from Timu. And I made fun of them and said they smelled like... They, no, they looked like jeans that came from a hardware store. And now, I am the biggest fan of Timu jeans. They are so cheap. These were like, you know, $17 or something. And they look good. And they don't look cheesy. They don't look like cheesy. Or maybe I'm just old and I'm not as picky about my jeans anymore. But here are these. I like them. I like the pockets. I like the button pockets and the design. The pockets look like good size. And I like the wash. It's not overly washed or anything like that. It looks okay. They're cool. I would have worn these today if I would have opened this earlier. So we got those. And I can see now that I am in the wrong order. So let me pull, let me see, speaking of what we pay for jeans here. For the, there's a little Loki down there. I paid $17.84 for those. And they are now sold out. And my horse jeans are right there for $14.01. But those jeans are sold out, shoot. Sorry, I picked a popular kind. All right, next in here, there's a lot of jewelry left in here. So this is like a pinkish. And what am I wearing today? I've got these earrings that I got off Timu, these clover earrings. And I got this a while ago off Timu, this sweater set. Here comes Loki. And this pill necklace, though, <laughs> I got from HRH Collection on YouTube. He came in like a wrecking ball. Hi, Loki. How are you? All right, now can you maybe move? Because now I can't find my scissors. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Okay, where do you think you're going to go? Okay, nobody, really, nobody wants to see that. Uh, okay, so this is a, it's late. It's going to be late by the time I upload it. What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.48 p.m. Ooh, that means it's going to be like 10 o'clock by the time this gets uploaded. If it takes like an hour to process or whatever. Oh, no, my fingers it's not gonna fit on any of my fingers what size did i get it's kind of different right <clears throat> it's cool it looks like a cheeseburger i'm hungry i don't like being on a diet or counting my calories everything starts looking like a cheeseburger okay five dollars and 48 cents i got that in a size seven i guess i don't wear a size seven anymore it's now four 
Ugh. It's now $4.94 and it is exquisite double layer wrap design rose red zircon. Okay. Well, all right. How do I feel about it? I don't know. I mean, definitely not with all these bracelets from um, Otter Spirit. I'm trying to ground myself, attract abundance, and whatever these two things do. Creativity is this one, or communication, or something. Clarity. I don't know. Um... I don't know how I feel about this ring. Do I love it? I mean, I don't love it. If I lost it, would I be crushed? No, but it's fine. Do I regret it? No, but $4.94, that's a lot to pay for a ring on Timu. See, it's going to slide all the way over there because this thing is so tilted. Where did he go? Wait a minute. Where did Loki go? Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, you know what I meant to do? I meant to take the, um, I meant to turn the french fries on, you guys. Oops. And then put them in the hand. Oops. But against the wall. Okay, there. Everything's, <laughs> everything's so tilted. Now stop it. All right, is that better? Now I'm way down here. Get this down here like this. What a, what a mess. My um niece, when she was like five years old, she came in my room once. It was the funniest thing. She looked around and she went, oh dear, what a mess. Yes, and she had this little southern accent, <laughs> and my room really stressed her out. Poor little thing. Oh dear, what a mess! I miss her when she she's sev uh, gonna be seventeen now. She was so much fun when she was five. <laughs> not that she's not fun now, but she was fun when she was five. Here comes Luna. All right, these are supposed to be different shapes, but they all look, oh, there goes Luna. They all look rectangle to me. They are not different shapes. They are all creepy. Oh, they're all creepy doll stickers. Yeah, jeez. That one is horrifying with the one with spaghetti. Oh, I'll pass. Thank you very much, though. There's a creepy doll holding a creepy doll. And that is just not right. That is not right. Okay. So, yikes. Okay, these are for my junk journaling. <laughs> it's never going to get done. That's just awful. But what's also awful is the fact that they're all cut in a perfect rectangle. And that was not what I was expecting at all. And where is the little bag they go in? Put them in here. Creepy rectangle dolls. The picture of them is misleading, but what else is new on Timu? Picture of um, 50 pieces of ghost dolls. Teeth are doing all right. Okay, just, it feels like I'm getting lipstick all over them. $2.11. And the picture, well, I guess the picture isn't misleading. It's just, in, no, Luna, my love. Oh, it's just in the shape of a circle. So it made me think that maybe there were circles. Okay, well, that's cool. $2.11, and there's still $2.11. And please don't climb in that garbage bag. Please, I'm begging you. With all my heart. Why did they do that? When I start talking, they get really active. Like, I have been lying here on my bed, just thinking about the day, processing things, 
trying to shake some stuff off today and stuff before I started filming. I wasn't going to film tonight because I was like, oh, the energy is just bad and all that. But then I, then I thought, oh, I want to film. I miss people. But when I was lying here on my bed thinking about, you know, stuff, they were both just lying around. Now that I'm talking, they're climbing all over things and... Cats are just interesting that way. They're like little children. They want your attention. So this is a bracelet with plastic beads, very plastic, and little, you know, it's got like a sea shore theme. Yeah, and I've got janky, all my nails, nothing matches. They're all like mismatched nails. Just forget, forget about my fingernails. I have I just, I keep losing them and now I can't find the replacements for the plain ones, but I can find the replacements for those, 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 those. Just say it one more time. Okay, put that one on too. Yeah, just see if I can get them to go all the way down my arm. Luna. Okay, that one is um, stylish. Okay, there's a lit candle. Okay. There is a lit candle on my bedside table, and I do not want these cats to knock it over and burn down the house. Stylish synthetic cubic zirconia bracelet, $1.48, and it is now still $1.48. And good, I'm glad I only paid $1.48. I'm a little alarmed because this phone is almost out of batteries and so is my other one. We might be out of luck and you have to go this way, my love. You can't go that way. Okay. The Luna. Luna. I thought she was getting all cozy today with me, but all she really wanted to do was try to snatch my glasses off my head. <laughs> She got really close to my face and I I went to give her a little kiss on her nose and she went fat like that and whap, and whapped my glasses off and I felt dumb. Okay, so these are some little chain earrings. They are very flimsy and I'm going to keep them in their little container. And they look like, they just hang down like this. We're, she's about to knock over my very professional light. So they're just going to hang. It's kind of hard to show them to you when I got another chain hanging down. So they're just going to hang down like that. She's moving my table. There she goes. She's getting ready to jump. I like them. They're going to look good. And then the bottom one has little you know, fake little cubic zirconia or whatever all along it. And they are just the right size. Not too big, not too small. And those were $2.79 and they are now sold out. Sorry. I'll sign up for notifications if anybody loves them. But there are a lot of that them in that variation. And that's all there is in that bag. We made short, what is it? Quick work of that, short work of that. Can I make the garbage bag? I totally made the garbage bag. Okay, the next thing we have is a broken nail. And then we have this huge bag right here. What a mess! All right. Oh, gosh. There's a lot going on in here. Um, okay, let me get this order called up, and you'll be happy to know this is all one order and one bag, so there's going to be no bouncing around, lost, trying to figure out what order this stuff is. It's all in here. See more order information. So, if you want to be a Timu influencer, I will. I have a link. I always have a link down in my description below that you can click and apply to be a Timu influencer. They'll give you a little allowance and you can 
pick some stuff and all that. And Timu gave me an allowance of $1,000 this time. And I don't, I can't for the life of me. I don't know what, I don't know, you guys. That's a lot to spend that on. And I don't know what, to, and, but there's a limit. So, like, you can't spend more than $45 on one item. Because I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to get 10 big items for, like, $100 each. But it doesn't work that way. Okay, this is a ring that's a little bit cheesy. It's got rabbit ears and a little heart. I'm in the middle and it is adjustable, thankfully, because I was like, that is small for my finger. That is small for the leave me alone. It's Easter. I'm engaged to the Easter bunny. Um, it's hard to manipulate this. Leave me alone. Okay, happy Easter. What did I pay for that? 98 cents. Okay, 98 cents and it's now sold out. But here it is by another seller and it's 98 cents. So my seller is has sold out. But here's somebody else who has it for another whopping. But I, I would not recommend it. It's kind of cheesy. It looks like a gumball machine ring. And... I have buyer's remorse. Okay, the next thing in here is some more Easter earrings or some Easter, some more Easter jewelry. And these are Easter bunnies. And let's see what kind of shape. Oh, I knew it. Well, I don't know. I was going to say, I'm going to be surprised if they have all their beads and, okay, all right. They are beaded rabbits. They are heavy. Luna is in the trash in my bathroom. I give up. I just, can just resign myself to the fact that these, here, I need to smile. She's, I'll just resign myself to the fact that these cats are going to just destroy the house and there's nothing I can do to stop them. It's been a weird day and cats are the least of my worries right now. My mom is going to start dialysis next week. Here are some sparkly Alien earrings. Yeah. I would have worn those today if I would have had those. These with the new jeans. <laughs> and my little pill necklace. It's tarnishing a little or something. Stop that! Sorry. They're fighting. She always bites um Loki where his little cojones would be if he had some she is a vicious little girl those earrings are 271 and they are sold out nope here they are from another seller for 298 they are called cute dangle earrings pin rabbit I don't know here, what I'm going to do, just in case somebody asks, wants those, is add to my cart. So that way I'll be able to find them really quickly. What I really like, though, look at me shopping while we're doing this. Here are some that are two beaded peeps. Those are adorable, man. How much are those? 318 Okay. All right. So we got those. Oh, the aliens. Wait, I was looking for the aliens, wasn't I? Or what? What? I'm so confused. I got all sidetracked with the fighting cat. The aliens were 98 cents uh, and they're still 98 cents. 
Okay, aliens. All right, next in here, there are some... I promise there are more than earrings in this thing. Uh-oh, my very professional studio. Loki, no. Loki, are you having a bad night? Loki, so am I. Get down. Okay, here comes Loki again. I know. Where are your toys? Why don't you bring me a toy and I'll throw it? Huh? He's a smart little guy. These are little pink cowboy hats with cowboy boots. And the design is on both sides. Let's go, girls. Da, 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 da. Um, I don't know. You know, they're country. They're a little bit country. I think I bought just one pair of earrings and then I went nuts and I bought like all the earrings I could see. Okay, so these 148 is what I paid for them and they are still 148. And now, what are you guys looking at? I don't like it when that happens. I don't like it when I see both cats looking up at the ceiling. This looks really cheesy. Somebody said I'm too negative right off the bat, but I am, I guess. If I look at something and I can tell right away through the package that it's going to be cheesy. Necklace. I'm trying to think of other questions I've been asked in comments. Am I taking the bear with me to Tokyo? The world traveling bear. He's been to Greece. He's been to Amsterdam. He's been to London where he met another bear named Paddington. He's been to Switzerland. He's been to Portugal, he's been to Spain, he's been to Germany. Um, I don't, I know, I feel like he should go to Tokyo, but if something, first of all, it's not cute anymore to run around with the, uh, my age, like stuff him in a backpack or whatever. Um, this is a knockoff of, um, I don't know, somebody, you know, with the Roman numerals around each circle, maybe Bulgari, or I don't know. I don't know, it could work, I guess. It's not as cheesy as I thought it would be. And the bear, am I going to take him with me to Tokyo? I Not like the way he would. I used to have him hanging out of a, ba a backpack, like when I would be backpacking like around Europe. But, so I wouldn't be do I wouldn't do that with him. And then what if my suitcase got lost? And if something happened to that bear, I would be really messed up, actually. I love that bear. And I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to take him to Tokyo or not. He, Japan. We're going to more than just Tokyo. But I'm excited about Tokyo. What are you doing? Okay, five, I paid five. Five ninety eight for that trendy Roman numeral necklace, and it is still five ninety eight, and that's a lot to pay for a team necklace. Okay, next I got one of those spa headbands, except I got the leopard print one. Borrowing some fashion from Simply Jessica Marie. She's got some great channels if you don't watch them. You should. Simply Jessica Marie where she does hauls and stuff. And then she has Simply Jessica Marie vlogs where you get to see her mom life and everything else. And that just looks ridiculous. But it's good for washing my face. All right. <clears throat> Spa headband. That is... Let me see what I paid for that. I paid $2.69 for that, and it's still $2.69. Leopard print headband sponge spa headband. 
Okay, finally, something that's not jewelry. And then while we're doing the leopard print thing, I got a new robe and I'm excited about it. And it is white leopard print, or is that cheetah print, you guys? I don't know. It says that it is, um, let me see. There's a lot in this order. Doing it day. Okay, woman's stylish leopard dress. It's a robe. It's $19.34. Okay, casual leopard print fleece night robe. Does it have a hood? Hooded robe with belt. Oh, it has a hood. Okay, and I got it in, I hope I got it in XL. I got it in an XL. And let's see. Oh, it is soft. All right. All right, all right, all right. It passes the soft test. Now, does it pass the thick test? It is, it's okay. I mean, it could be a little more thick. It's a little bit thin for a robot. It's a robe. I can't see through it. Ooh, that's nice. Man, I was going to do this haul in a robe in pajamas and call it my Timu pajama party because I just want to get out of these clothes. I had to meet some women for lunch today. Had to. It was my pleasure to meet some women for lunch today. It was like a business lunch, but it was pleasant kind of thing. Pleasant business lunch kind of thing. And the restaurant, there was only one guy waiting tables in the whole restaurant. So it took forever for our food to get there and blah, blah, blah. But we all had like these big binders with us and stuff. Now, let me see. I kind of wish I would have gotten this in an XXL because I'm getting a little XL and I like things to be one size bigger than me. Then again, I'm trying to put this on over a sweater. So let me give myself a little grace. I'm trying to tie it and see how it. I'm trying to find the other half of the other part of the tie. I had chicken sliders. They were cute. That's why I ordered them because they were cute. <laughs> Aww. All right, now where's the other one? I don't know. I just really messed this up. Here's the tie, and I. Forget it. I was going to try to tie it around my waist, but I can't figure out what the heck is going on. Oh, here. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's good. I, why didn't I get the biggest size ever, though, if it's a robe? If it's a robe, man. Just go for, like, the biggest size they have so you can be comfy and cozy in it. Nice, man. I like the hood, too. I never I really understood why they put hoods on robes, but okay. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a hood person, person, period. Did they have XXL? They did have XXL. You can get this robe in pink, blue, beige. The beige one is really pretty. I don't know what I was thinking. I always do that. That one's really pretty in beige. And the pink one and the blue one are, you know, I don't know, pink and blue. Or you can get it in this mix. They call it mixed color. I call it white and gray. Okay, cool. This is my favorite thing so far. I got another, I got it. I got another chill pill in blue. I have this vision of my bed just covered in, um, like, I want to get, like, 20 of these and just cover my whole bed, <laughs> like, make my bed and cover it with these throw pillows, these chill pill throw pillows. I don't know why. 
Wait a minute. It's upside down. Now hold on a minute. So now I have it in um, pink and then I have a blue one. And now I just want to get like 10 more of the pink, 10 more of each color. I wish they had more color. It might have more colors. I'll look. Okay. She's... Cheese. I don't know what I'm going to do for a thumb. I'm not in a thumbnail kind of mood. Okay, I found a bag now big enough for my trash. So hold on while I consolidate my trash, please. And thank you. Because you all know that I like... Oh, dear. What a mess. I was missing my dad today terribly. I think because so many horrible things were happening to people all around me, I started thinking about just, I don't know. But, yeah, I really missed him a lot. I mean, I, I miss him all the time, of course. But I started really missing him today. Um, okay, Chill Pill. Let me see if it comes in any colors besides pink and blue. 1148 is, oh, oh, you could get it in yellow. You can get it in purple. You can get it in like another purple and light purple. Okay, whatever. It's a, it looks like red to me. Green and then blue. I've got blue. I've got pink. So I should just try to get one of each. Huh? To go for the purple. And the yellow, I like the yellow too. And the purple, just cover my whole bed with them. For 1148. Hurry before it, it's almost sold out. Um, okay. Get that. I got the purple one. Okay, good. And then next, I'll, I'll just try to get one of every... I'll have a whole pharmacy in here. And then I'll take a picture of my bed with the new duvet cover on it and all the chill pills all over it. <laughs> and then Percy in the middle of all of them. Where is Percy? Percy! I found him! Okay, the next thing in here are some pillowcases. Pillowcases, not throw pillowcases, real pillowcases. And I think I got them in um, standard size, or did I get them in queen size? I never know what size pillows I have, you guys. I got them in queen size, and you get two of them for $7.28, and they're now $6.98. Now, wait a minute. Maybe not. No, they're not. They're still seven twenty eight. Okay, and they look like they look cute. They feel pretty soft. They'll feel softer after Percy's creeping me out. They'll feel softer after I wash them. And they look like wait, now there should be two of them. They're very thin. That's okay. They just have little, like, graffiti-looking hearts on them. They don't match anything at all. Like, I don't have sheets or anything that match them, but that's all right. That's how I like to roll eclectic like that. Okay? So we got that. And then also in here, there should be more. There are satin ones for your hair and your skin. And they are leopard print. Now look, it wasn't me trying to copy Simply Jessica Marie. It was me buying like one leopard print thing and then Timu filling up my whole feed with leopard print things. So... But this, mm, it'll do. It's fine as long as it doesn't pull on my hair. And which I, I like the top pillow. I sleep on two pillows. And I like the top one to be soft and satiny. Well, right now I'm sleeping on that really cool one that 
the dot, um, the one with the dot in the middle of it. Shoot, is it all joy that makes it? I don't know. I forgot who made it, who makes it, you guys. But it's got the dot in the middle of it. But that's what I'm sleeping on now. And I actually told them I'd do another video about it. So I should probably try to remember the brand. So this, these pillow cases are nice. And yeah, they're soft and satiny and now they're staticky. And two, so two of those were $8.48. And I got queen size, $8.48. If you get, oh, wow, you can get them the same color as my robe. Uh, I should have gotten this color, actually. You can get them in a variety of colors of leopard print. I am sort of filled with regret that I didn't get silver leopard queen. I'm going to throw those in my cart. Okay where they'll sit for like weeks. Because I mean, these aren't going to match anything either. I don't know really. I'm not really looking for like a design of the year award. Okay, I have no idea what this is at all. Cannot even. Oh, there goes that nail. We don't have time to glue it back on. I mean, we have all the time in the world, but I don't feel like gluing it back on. You guys know it's been kind of a day when I don't even feel like gluing a nail back on. It's time for these to come off. I think I said that last weekend, huh? I just can't seem to get up the energy to change my fingernails. But I've started taking some vitamin D feel a little bit better. It's probably a placebo effect because I've only been taking it for a week. This is a credit card holder or a business card holder. What did I get it for? A business card holder. Ooh, especially in Japan because it's a big deal to give someone your business card and they look at it very respectfully and then they put it in a nice case, and you should have a nice case to put their cards in. I know, because we did have to take a jab. So I used to work for a PR agency, and we had um, Epson Tokyo was one of our clients, and we had to take a Japanese business etiquette class, like a course, like a few hours. It wasn't like a big, long course. It was like two hours in a room with some guy quickly trying to teach us stuff. So I don't, I didn't retain a lot of it, but I did retain the business card ceremony kind of thing. The business card exchange. So I don't know if I'll be giving anyone my card, at, my business card in Japan or not, but just in case. Okay, it says luxurious rhinestone driver's license case. $11.03 is what I paid for it. And now it's $9.08. And the picture is misleading. So the picture, I thought there were going to be different slots for credit cards inside of it. But you, it, this just looks like you could use it as like, if you smoked, you could use it as a cigarette case even. I mean, it's just a hollow, wide open thing. But it's still kind of fun. I like it. I, I can't believe I paid 11 bucks for it, but I did get a price adjustment on it. I feel like a chirpy little bird. No, I didn't. I didn't get a price adjustment on it. Wait, let me click. Okay, if you click pink, it goes up to 11.03. I was about to get a little bit mad. All right, the next thing in here is a purse. And then I'm done. I don't want any more purses from Timu. It's a red bag. Is that satiny? Let's see what the heck. I either have to take this nail off. Okay, let me take it off. I can't have it just flapping around while I'm moving my hands. It's annoying. Okay, this is a nylon bag. 
nylon all weather bag and it's got a pocket on the back that the zipper is already a little bit pocket on the back it's got a pocket on the front that's a little bit screwed up I don't know what it's trying to do okay there okay it's got a pocket on the front it actually has a tag on it tags on it which is new and unusual for a team magnet it's got two zippers they're a little bit messed up let me fix them i don't know why they're always okay so it's got a compartment here okay and then this one it's got a compartment here and then inside it's got another zipper pocket in here and it has no slip pockets but that's okay wait yes it does have slip a slip pocket right here and it says something inside i don't know what okay it's i mean it's shiny though. I don't know really what I was thinking. When I mean I like it. It's a nice bag. I like all the different compartments and I like the fact that it's waterproof. Nylonish. That's different. It's better than fake leather for a change. I don't really know why I thought I just really needed it. And I like the pop of red. I mean sure it's spiffy for the summertime. It's cool. Okay. It is. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Multifunction, waterproof. It was, I paid $15.99 and it's $14.99. You can get it in a bunch of different colors. Pink and Multifunction waterproof handbag. Um, I don't know. Look at that. Like, it kind of looked like you could fit a tablet in it or something. Well, not really, but I don't know. That's how they kind of showed it. It looked cool all puffed out like that. I like it. It'll hang out with my purses for a while, use it a few times, and share the love with somebody else, pass it, pay it forward. This is a little sticker that you stick to your, it's a 3M sticker that you stick to your laptop and you put your wireless mouse in it to keep. So I just got a new MacBook Pro. And I got a new wireless mouse for it. And I thought, hey. Or you could get a nice computer bag and put all your stuff in there. Or you could do this. It just depends. But it's just a little pocket that you can put your mouse in. It feels like a sock. Like pantyhose or something. And it smells like plastic and that please tell me i did not pay a lot for that please tell me i did not pay a lot for that that was two dollars and 74 cents and it's now 269 and here's no that's a video now stop it here's an example of it in action Okay. We almost done. We still got a ways to go. The next thing are some goofy earrings. Got a lot of earrings. These are black cats trying to get a fish hanging from a window i don't know 
<laughs> They're funny. They're funny on like casual day or something. Will I ever really wear them? I don't know. Yes, I will. I will wear them. I will. But they're cute, cute little cats trying to get little fish. They reminded me of the Loki Loke. And they are $1.19 and now they're $1.34. And then these are not going to get, these are some different fry yay earrings that I really liked. A little bit more than the fry yay earrings I already have. And happy Friday and happy payday. So I like to call it happy yay day. But it's got a flamingo. Oh, they're pink and they say fry yay. <laughs> fry yay. And they've got little flamingos. Is that right? I don't know. Are they backwards? I guess they couldn't be backwards if I tried. Yay! Cheese. Okay. Can't forget about that thumbnail. The next thing in here is oh, what did I pay for Friday? I paid um. A dollar forty-eight. And they are now sold out. They're sold out? Oh, they're ugly and atrocious and we hate them. I can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. I'm so excited to sleep in. This is... I don't know what this is. Oh, these are for your computer camera or your um, cell phone camera. They're so small, they're going to get lost. They're little shields so you can put them over your camera and cover up the lens with this thing. So no one can spy on you. And they came in this little box of two. I know those are going to get lost. I can tell. Oh no, did I break the little box? Because they if I did, they really are going to... Okay, there. Okay. I think I closed it. Okay, I closed it. Okay. So those were three forty eight for that is crazy expensive for those two. So they look like this. And three forty eight for two of them. It seems a little nuts. Like you could get a pack of them at Dollar Tree for like a dollar twenty-five. Here are some fingernail. These are cute with little black cats on them. I think that's what those are. I don't know, but I've never seen this brand before. <laughs> They're cute. I might put those on next. Those are kind of green, right? Well, I think I have some specific ones. Now, next week is the week to wear all your St. Patrick's Day stuff because it's next weekend, right? And then don't forget that this, if you live in one of the time zones that changes, I don't think Arizona changes ever, but it is daylight savings this weekend too, but we spring forward. Right? Yeah, I think we spring forward. And is that bad? I think that sucks, right? I lose an hour of sleep. Okay, this is a necklace that just goes it's a little chain using my monitor as a mirror I'm sorry 
and it just goes like that. Get the pill out of the way. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's just something to wear. Okay, get it off. It's killing my vibe. Okay, what did I pay for that? I paid $3.99 for that. And it's now $3.98. But did I get a price? Just, oh, I paid $3.98 for it too. Eight looks like a nine. Okay, next in here we've got... How are we doing? Oh my gosh, 55 minutes. I'm like taking my time. I got all the time in the world. Of it. I bought a fuzzy purse. Why? I have no idea. A fuzzy red purse. So if you want to find trippy things on Timu, you search for Y2K. The letter Y, number two, the letter K. And you'll find stuff like this Y2K plush faux fur winter shoulder bag. Okay. I mean, if you say so, Timu. I paid $11.98 for that. And it's now $9.59. And I did get a price adjustment. I did get a price adjustment on it. <laughs> Is anything going on with this? I mean, or does it just... It looks like a poor dead Muppet. So here's the inside, and I don't know. I have no idea. How many furry purses do I have now, thanks to Timu? I want to say about five or six, or... Uh, yeah, six, maybe even seven... I don't know. If, look, in my defense, the picture, I'm always like, in my defense, in my shopping defense, it looks cooler on, in the picture. Like, here's the picture of it. So, I don't know. I was enticed by that. I found it enticing. Okay, the next thing are, I don't know why, because this was my favorite Care Bear. I got the green one, the lucky one, of course. Am I ever going to wear that? Probably, these aren't for street walking. No, I'm not going to wear those out in public. Wear them to the office. Wear them to a meeting. What did I pay for those Care Bear earrings? The lucky one. Um, I paid $2.69. And they are still $2.69. And you can get all the colors. I think the rainbow one is sold out. No, it's still there. They got them all there. Last time I was here, they were all sold out, but it looks like they're all back. They got all the colors you could ever want. I picked the green. Okay, and the next thing is this kind of weird necklace that this is just kind of like the trippy jewelry haul with a couple of purses thrown in. This is barbed wire looking chain with hearts. It's like a choker. It looks too small for my neck. It does have an extender, but I think my neck is too thick. Maybe not. All right, never mind. It fits perfectly. All right, well, it fits, but I just can't get it fastened right now. Okay, it's not that bad. It's kind of cute. It'd be cute with like a t-shirt and jeans. I mean, not with like some kind of serious business attire, but if you just had a t-shirt and jeans, yeah, that's all right. Okay, so... And oh, I didn't hold. Did I hold it up enough close to the camera? Sorry. So you just have like barbed wire around these little pink hearts, 
and there are three of them. Am I holding everything up too close enough to the camera? I hear the Care Bears or Ish, Care, Careish Bears. All right, Barbed Wire Hearts Necklace was Creative Pink Love Heart Chain 134 Necklace Punk Y2K Style Neck jewelry accessory party favors and there's still it is still 134 and i think we're almost done we only have a couple things left in here okay, we got this and it is oh uh, it's some more of these things. It's some more of those little lens covers. I bought two. Did I buy two or did they just... Oops, it says times two. I bought two of them. I think I did that on purpose. One for each phone. One for my iPad and one for my new MacBook. Don't spy on me, honey. Okay, this is the last... Well, there is a hole in the bottom, so... These are cute. But why do I feel like... Probably because I just saw that hole. It feels like I'm, forg I'm missing something, but I'll look in a minute. These earrings are cute. I didn't need to cut them when I could have just opened them like this. Oops. So, those are kind of nice. They're just pink. I mean, you know, they're pink. But, I really like those. And... The two little plastic ear stopper thingies. There they are. Here's the other one. Fell out. Okay. Those were... Okay. Pink heart design dangle earrings. 148. You can get them... Ooh. No. You can... You can get some that look like this. Or you can get the ones I got that look like this. And they are 198. Still, I paid 148 and now they're 198. Now let me see. Did I get everything in this order? Two necklaces, a headband, a whole bunch of goofy earrings, nails, eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I did. All right. All right. And so that, how much did that whole haul cost? Do I really want to know? I don't want to know. What did I pay? I paid. I don't know. 24 items for a total of, I can't, $133.40. Ooh, that was a lot of fun right there. A lot of pricey fun. All right, everybody, it's time for me to go to bed. I'm going to put some real pajamas on under this robe, and I'm going to kick back. Somebody asked me what I'm reading right now. I'm reading this book called um, Really Good, actually. And it is about 300 pages. And I'm not very far into it. I'm about this far into it, as you can see by the page. It's about a... Um, it's a funny book about a young woman who just breaks up with her boyfriend and is trying to get over the breakup it's just 
not that deep. It's just, you know, light, goofy reading. But that's what I'm reading right now. Really good, actually, by Monica Heisey. But it got a ton of good reviews from all of, like, a bunch of people that I like. A bunch of magazines I like. And a bunch of publications that I like. Tender yet sharp. Heartbreaking and hilarious. So, I don't know. I mean, the main character is way, way younger than I am. But it's still fun to read. So, there's that. And I don't really have anything else to talk about. I'm just going to, yeah. I'm going to clean up all this stuff. Put these earrings away. And put some pajamas on, kick back, read my book. Me and Percy, we're going to hang out. And I don't know if I post for anything with a for a thumbnail or should I pose with this eyeshadow palette? Jeez. I don't know. McDonald's in the background with the tilted hat. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I do have a huge haul that is Timu sponsored. It's the weird side of Timu is the theme of it. And I'm looking forward to doing that. And I'm sure I will see you again this weekend. I don't know if I will do a video Saturday and Sunday, but I'll definitely do one this weekend, at least tomorrow or Sunday. And maybe one each day. I don't know. It just depends. Depends on what I get done around here and all that stuff. But I love and appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for clicking a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And thank you for your kind comments down below. And thank you for being here and for watching. So I will see you soon. I hope you're having a nice night or morning or afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this. And now we say, how do, how do I stop this thing?